Hello and welcome to Be Medium Revit Tutorials. In this tutorial you can learn how to create family of doors that will be automatically shown in the legends of Revit with the direction of doors opening as it is in the project. I will start uh, with modeling the door panel. It will be nested family with parameters for door directions. For this nested family I will use the metric generic model. Now I will add a few parameters for which I will need reference plans and uh, before that I will change the measurement units to centimeters. To begin with we will need the basic parameters for the height, thickness and height of the door panel. So as you can see I'm adding the reference uh, uh, plans and dimensions I made equal uh, dimensions for thickness and for width of the panel so when we change the thickness and the height it will be uh, changed symmetrically. Alright, now with extrusion I will add the model and I will lock it to the reference plans so every change with uh, thickness and white will follow uh, with affect the extrusion model. Now I will add parameter for height and I will align this extrusion model to reference uh, plan so when we change the height of the panel uh, it will affect the, our mo extrusion model. You can see I will, I'm testing now the parameters. Those are simplest parameter uh, here. Later I will show you how to connect, how to create other part of the door family and how to join them in one uh, family door family. I've added uh, two parameters more for material and for visibility of this. Uh, parameter uh, for this uh, panel. Sorry. All right. And now we will add one reference uh, plan more. We will position it uh, on the middle of the panel and it, we will add the uh, equal dimensions. And now I will add directions. Uh, I will add hidden lines uh, for directions. All right, for opening directions. We will have uh, two different opening directions. We call them right and left opening directions. All right, here we will have the opening set, lock set, it will be lock set here and for that I will create one lock set, one uh, a nested family more for a lock set. For that I will use family, uh, generic family, generic metric, generic model family all right and using sweep first i will change the measurements to centimeters units to centimeters and with sweep first i will uh, draw the the path all right okay And later I will add the profile form or this uh, lock set. I will make some changes here also. All right, and now I will add this uh, circular profile. All right, and when I press OK, we will have our 
one part of our uh, lock set. Okay, I will make some changes here. All right. Now I will add one extrusion part here. All right. I will join them. And now I will add the part for for the key for the locker. And with this, it will be one complete uh, lock set. Okay. Part for the key. Okay, now I will add some modifications on the corners here only. Just to be the same, I will change them equally. All right, and I will move them here. Now I'll add mat uh, material parameter. And that's it. I will save it with the new name and I will import it into the uh, panel family. Okay, load into load into our panel family. And here we are. Now I will use mirror tool and here I will add reference plan. I need reference plans to lock this uh, key set, lock set. All right. And now I will align them and lock them to the reference plan from the both side of the uh, door panel. All right. the floor plan view is all right. Now I will change this here. It will be five centimeter and I will lock them. So uh, this, uh, this uh, lock sets will follow this reference plans of five centimeter uh, when we change the light or uh, especially when we change the light of the uh, door panel. Now I will align them to the this ref middle reference plan. All right. And now I will add parameters for right opening direction and for left opening direction. Later, when we create a door family, uh, just by clicking on uh, one of these parameters, we can create doors with right or uh, other type uh, door with uh, left opening direction. Okay, now we will uh, use preview. You can see here when one of these is turned on. The other will be turned off and that's the way to uh, that's the easy, very easy and simple way to create families with different opening directions uh, important thing here is uh, that when we create uh, legends of doors the changes in the legends uh, sorry the changes in the uh, family model uh, will follow will be followed in the uh, legends so you can do anything you want with the family in the project but uh, it won't appear in the legends as it in the project 
the changes in the legends will be followed by changes in the uh, family model. That's the reason why I create uh, these two parameters for left and for right openings. Now you can see uh, I'm checking the parameters. Here we have one problem. So I will add the uh, reference line so I can align this uh, lock set to the middle reference plane easier. Now I think uh, now we will choose this problem here. All right, now we, when we change the height parameter, okay, it's great. You can see now when we turn off and turn on the right and left opening directions, everything is all right. All right, the thickness of the door panel works great. The white of the door is uh, great too. All right, now I will show you how to create the legends and what is, what's the benefit of these two parameters I've created before. All right, and for here we will use this uh, a parameter for changing the the side of the door, looking uh, uh, by the by the x of the wall. All right, here I need to align these parts here. All right. Later I will show you how to create this door family with, with all other elements. The most important uh, topic in this tutorial is how to create these opening directions parameters uh, or how to create this uh, nested uh, door panel family. So that's the reason why I start with it. Okay, now by changing these parameters here we can create diff two different types of the door with left and with right opening direction. All right, now we will create the, we will add the material. All right. We will do the same here. And that's it. Okay, now I change the name and I will create new type with different opening directions and that's it. Using this parameter you can turn the doors on one or other side of the wall and in both uh, in both examples you uh, the door will be the same with the same opening directions if we use the double uh, arrow uh, parameter we can change the uh, doors uh, in any directions we we want this one arrow uh, parameter uh, does the low that and that's the reason why i use this one uh, arrow parameter because I need for the for door to uh, for directions of the door to stay uh, the same. All right. Also, I don't suggest you to use mirror for these families. And if you uh, if you use these door families uh, properly you won't have problems with the with the uh, legends here you can see we have two different types and uh, the legends show them as they are in the project this is one of the most uh, common problems in the revit when we create the door legends, the opening directions in the legends doesn't follow the opening directions in the project. 
The reason is, the legend shows the doors as they are in the Revit family model. That's the reason why I create these two parameters as I said before. These two parameters uh, for opening, for left and for right opening directions. Here you can see all other parameters for framing, for uh, thickness of the panel works great. That's all dear friends, uh, thank you for following me and please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.